Hey, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. It's good to see you. Um, it didn't get any warmer, in case you were wondering. Um, last week, I advised not doing groceries at minus 28 Celsius. Um, I didn't listen to my own advice. It was minus 37 this morning when I went and did groceries. Um, it looked a lot like this. Hope you enjoyed the introduction to this video because <laughs> I think I almost lost sensation in my fingertips when I was out there uh, filming that. Um, people were skating on the canal. It's open now. The longest, largest skateway in the world. Um, they must have bumped their heads last night because it's so cold. Now the ice was incredible. Um, a because there was no one on it and B because it was so cold. But um, yeah, you wouldn't catch me out there today except for filming. So what we want to do today is a follow-up on last week's look at a couple of bikes. Last week we looked at my number 22, uh, my titanium bike. Someone did ask me if that was my 22nd bike in my stable. N no, it's the, the manufacturer is called number 22. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check them out. Now, uh, caveat, um, full titanium and custom a boutique. So um, they're not going to be cheap, but they're, they're incredible. Great bikes. Beautiful. This week we're going to look at my uh, other road bike. Again, I went non-disc with this one and um, I don't even think disc was available in 2017 on the Scott Addict. Um, but that's what it is. It's my Scott Addict SL. Stands for Super Light. It is the HMX Carbon Layup. It's their stiffest and lightest. It's a super light bike. It's got the uh, mechanical uh, Jurace 9070 on it. Uh, I went, intentionally went for the mechanical because I was trying to save some weight versus the DI2. And as you saw last week, I have the DI2 on the uh, number 22. A uh, Zip 303 fire crests are on it. Uh, Conti GP 5000s and a uh, Sealy San Marco. The cockpit is ostensibly a 3T. Um, anyways, here it is. Have a look and uh, any comments you have, any questions, uh, put them in the comments below and I'll, I'll try and address them. thing a uh, box arrived this week and um, cycling related let's take a look at what's inside So I'm going to do a whole video on setting up my gravel bike slash cyclocross bike um, tubeless. I have yet to go down that path, but my ombre John tells me that uh, it's relatively painless and once you do it, you'll never go back. So um, what I did was, can you see these? I invested in some of these uh, Panaracer Gravel King Plus tires. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about these in the next coming weeks and uh, we'll certainly uh, film the adventures of uh, setting up the bike tubeless. I'm sure it's not that bad. What could go wrong? And that's a wrap. Um, I may look a little bit different. It's actually the next day. Um, I want to wrap up the filming today. Uh, sensation is only now just coming back into the old uh, fingertips. It, w it was that cold. 
um, and still bitterly cold today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, give it a like, click the subscribe button, uh, or any comments below. Uh, I certainly uh, appreciate those, and uh, I will get back to you. Next week, we're going to look at the uh, felt, my gravel slash cyclocross bike. Um, that is the felt uh, F3X. We'll take a closer look at that. Uh, have a great weekend. Uh, we will regroup, and uh, I appreciate you sticking around. Take care.